Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use dummy variable regression in Excel to perform conjoint analysis to see which product attributes are most important to your customer. And the main points related to regression using dummy variables in Excel are as follows. Dummy variables in regression represent variables that have only two states. For example, a product can be sold with three colors, red, white, and blue, and there'd be a separate dummy variable for each color, for red, for one, for white, one for blue. The dummy variable for red can only have the values of 1 or 0 because the product is either red or it's not. And the same with the other two dummy variables for white and for blue. One unique dummy variable must be created for each possible choice that's available. Now the biggest problem with using dummy variables in regression is called collinearity or multicollinearity. Collinearity occurs if any of the independent variables can be used to predict the value of any of the other independent variables. Uh, for example, if a product comes only in red, white, and blue, there would be three color dummy variables, one for red, one for white, and one for blue. If you knew the value of the dummy variables for red and for white, then you'd know the value of the dummy variable for blue. You can solve collinearity and regression by removing one dummy variable for each attribute. For example, if a product has three dummy variables for color, one for red, one for white, and one for blue, if you remove the dummy variable for red, then you cannot predict the value of the blue dummy variable based on the value of the remaining white dummy variable. And you can see from the following example that we're about to do that removing a dummy variable does not affect the accuracy or the completeness of your answer at all. Now let's take a look at conjoint analysis. Conjoint analysis is a marketing technique that's used to determine which product attributes are most important to a consumer and how important each attribute is. A utility shows the degree of importance that a consumer attaches to each attribute, and the coefficients of the regression equation are these utilities. There are seven steps to performing conjoint analysis using dummy variable regression in Excel. Let's take a look at those. The first step is to list all the product attributes, all possible consumer choices. You have three choice of brands, brand A, B, and C, two choices of color, red and blue, and there are three choices of price, $50, $100, and $150. Second step is to list all possible combinations. There are 18 total possible combinations of attribute choices, and there they are, based on the choices we're given. Third step is to create a consumer survey. Typically what's done is each choice is put on a separate card and given to the consumer. The consumer rates that choice on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best. And here's an example of a completed survey, all 18 choices, and the column on the right-hand side is the ratings. And the fourth, cho the fourth conjoint step is to create dummy variables for each attribute. Well, there are three brand dummy variables, two color dummy variables, and three price dummy variables, one for each possible choice. There they are. And here's how the consumer's data gets translated into dummy variable data. In card one, a dummy variables for brand A, color red, and price $50 got one as a value for the dummy variables. All other dummy variables received the value of zero, and the preference is five. And that's card one. And the fifth step is to remove one dummy variable from each set of attributes. So I'm highlighting the dummy variable that I'm going to take out of the data. I'm just going to delete all this data right out. Dummy variables brand A, color red, and price 50. They're getting removed. Taking those three columns of data right out. And after I take those columns of data out, here's what the data looks like. And I'm going to run a regression on this data right here. And the sixth step is to run the regression. There's the output right there. Let's run the regression in Excel 2003, Tools, hit Data Analysis, and then select Regression right there. And here's the Regression dialog box. Let's move that out of the way so we can take a closer look at it. First piece of data, we need to input the Y range. That's the independent, the dependent variable range. Click that little square there. And go over and select the dependent variable data. That would be everything in the preferences column. Don't select the label preferences, just the data. Hit that square and go back to the main dialog box. Now we're selecting the X range. Those are the independent variables. So go in there and select all of the other data, all of the dummy variable data. Don't select the labels, just the dummy variable data, just like that. Go back to the dialog box. 
Now we're going to check whether or not we have labels with the data. Yes, we do. You see, those are the labels, so we check that box. And confidence interval, typically 95% is a standard confidence interval, so leave that checked. And the output range, just select the cell where you want the upper left-hand corner of the output to start. Then hit OK, and you'll run your regression. There's the output of that regression. We're going to take a look at that. And I'm going to color code that output so it's a little easier to read. There it is. And you see in the lower left-hand corner, the variables and the light blue are the coefficients. And they're going to represent the utilities. The regression equation is going to be derived from those. We can see the regression equation right there. And we're going to analyze the output right here. And all of the utilities, the zero utilities, are the, re the dummy variables that were taken out. Those utilities are have the value of zero. You see? We remove dummy variables A, color red, and price 50, and they all have utilities of zero. And the other utilities are the coefficients of the regression equation, as we can see right there. And some more observations from this output. It's a pretty good regression because R squared is pretty close to 1. R squared is 0.87. And adjusted R squared is usually a little bit less. And each variable is a significant predictor because its p-value is very low. And we're going to show that removing a dummy variable does not affect the output. Take the 13th card. Consumer rated that as a 10. And let's see if the regression predicts close to that 10 value. So the regression equation is right there. And if we put in the dummy variable data into the regression equation, card 13 combination preferences, then add up those scores, we see that gives us a 9.26. Putting the data right into the regression equation, we get a 9.26. And that's pretty close to the, predict to the score of 10. So the regression did a pretty good job. So we can see that removing those dummy variables did not affect the accuracy or the completeness of the answer. So that right there is conjoint analysis using dummy variable regression in Excel. And if you'd like to become an Excel statistical master, take a look at the Excel master series at www Excel master series for 1995. You can get this four manual series, 400 plus pages of easy to follow step by step statistics in Excel to become an Excel statistical master. Thank you very much and goodbye.